Occasionally, something really new can be found at the Detroit show. General Motors parked their new baby, the EV1, on a brightly lit turntable. The EV1 is the first electric car to be put into production. What you can see here is the drive motor. This is a three-phase AC induction motor uh, that puts out 102 kilowatts or 137 horsepower. GM was concerned. Would the electric car still provide the oomph that drivers seem to want? The EV1 will peel rubber when the electric pedal is put to the metal. One of the characteristics of lead-acid batteries is that although they deliver lots of power, they don't contain very much energy. So this pack has about the energy equivalent of a couple of quarts of gasoline. Taking the EV1 for a spin on the freeway is a bit chancy, considering that its battery charge is the equivalent of just two quarts of gas. This is one of the EV cars. It's supposed to get a 70 to a 90 mile range, and I've been getting like 50. Yes, I hope I didn't get the first lemon. The first electric cars appeared a century ago. Since then, the efficiency of gasoline and diesel engines has been significantly improved. Well, it's time for a charge. Instead of the gasoline station, I use the electric station. But the technology of storage batteries didn't get very far. It's perfectly safe, even in this downpour, so it should be all right. New technology, as it becomes available, can be introduced in exactly this same size. We can put those modules in place of these lead acids, and we can update the car to a new battery technology.